so welcome back once again sorry for the disturbance nationalism in vietnam emerged through the efforts of different sections of society to fight against the french and all they represented so here what actually french did so for most visible form of french control was military economic domination even uh, you like you know french reshaped the culture of vietnamese because so far they were following chinese culture so french troops landed in vietnam in 1858 by the mid 1880s they had established a firm control over northern region what is this northern region we will see after the Fra- franco chinese war the for okay the french assumed control over tonkin and adha in 1887 french indo chinese china was formed what was for french indo china in the following decades the french sought to consolidate their position and people in vietnam began reflecting of the nature of laws that vietnam was suffering nationalist resistance developed out of this reflection whatever happened because there were wars taking place and vietnam people were suffering and this reflected this nature were reflected on to french but french did not give up nationalist resistance developed out of its reflection so what actually happened is french gained control over the two major areas of vietnam known as tonkin and adam in which year 1887 so let us go on to further the famous blind poet okay this is not so important but you will definitely read it once right i reserved it for you to read why the french thought colonies necessary now uh, they established control over vietnam it has become one of the colonies why did they think that having a colony is necessary colonies were considered to supply natural resources and other essential goods so these are uh, french people these french people needed natural resources essential goods in order to manufacture things therefore they found uh, vietnam as a treasure of natural resources just as how british found india as so like other western nations french also thought it was the vision of advanced europe countries to break the benefits of civilization to backward people they even believed in civilizing people like you know what civilizing the people uh, educating them whenever you talk about civilization education you will remain about you'll be reminded about education even uh, in which language were they educated up to which level were they educated and fears of education colonial education we will read in next session but now let us see uh, why did the uh, french feel colonies were important because they found like you know uh, colonies were considered essential to supply natural resources and other essential goods the french began by canals by building canals and draining lands in the cod delta to increase cultivation so first they thought to civilize people right so further firstly the step was to increase economic productivity but economic productivity was the uh, economic uh, uh yeah economic growth of this vietnam was not good the try the whatever the you know french tried to increase economic growth it did not work so far well 
because of three limitations. Firstly, uh, uh, very high population. Secondly, uh, low productivity of agriculture. And third, total Vietnam economy was only dependent on this agriculture. And it was very difficult for such a large population to be satisfied only by agriculture. This is the main reason. Okay, anyhow, let us read this one. The fast system of irrigator, irrigation works, canals and earthworks built mainly with forced labor, increased rice production and allowed the export of rice to international market. Anyhow, uh, after building canals and taking the measures before uh, before this actually I I did give you an explanation regarding this I went to the next one so I'm sorry about that actually you know we are now turned out to be third largest uh, third largest exporter of rice after these all things been done by French people built mainly by force okay uh, where we are uh, the area under lies cultivation went up to 2 lakh 74,000 hectares in, in 1873 to 1.1 million hectares in 900 and 2.2 and million in 1930 Vietnam exported two-thirds of its rights production by 1931 had become the third largest exporter of rice in the world. This was followed by infrastructure projects to help transport goods for trade, move military garrison and control the entire region. Construction of Trans-Indochina rail network that would link the northern and southern parts of Vietnam and China began. So here, Trans-Indochina Rail Network was constructed by French people. Constructed by French people in order for, to have an easy locomotion of these goods and even military garrisons. This final link with Yunnan in China was completed by 1910. The second line was also built linking Vietnam to Sine as Thailand then called Vaiva, the Cambodia capital of Vietnam. By 1920s, to ensure higher level of profits, further investors, French business interests were pres pressuring the government in Vietnam to develop the infrastructure further. I hope you are very clear with this now. So, should colonies be developed? Okay, you know why colonies are necessary. Are, are, like, you know, is it necessary for them to be developed? Okay, actually, one of the uh, advisor of this French advise the French people uh, to in, instead of going for land reforms they can be uh, like you know they can build industries which will provide employment to the men and then they can increase their uh, economic monthly salary and then ultimately they will even buy French goods in the market but instead of going of the uh, for, of the, the advice given by this person French people what did they do is they uh, went for land they didn't do even land reforms which they wanted to even they didn't go for this uh, you're like you know they even they didn't go for this industry but what did they do let us see in our next video what did the French people actually do Anyhow, thank you for watching so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Do subscribe for more videos. And like if you like my explanation. Thank you. Bye.